Hello, everybody, and welcome to Spiritual Bite number 108, dated November 13th, 2020. I'm Walter, your mobile historian and blue collar scholar. This spiritual bite is entitled, If the Lord is Willing. You know, the human race is a very, very, very cocky uh, lot, all right? We humans are always boasting and bragging about what we're going to do and what we're going to say and how no one or nothing at all is going to stand in our way of doing this, that, or the third. And, you know, we talk, you know, and act like we have all the answers. We can do anything we want at any time, and there is no oversight over our actions. And I'm not talking about man-made law, of course. We, we know that that type of oversight exists. But no, I'm talking more specifically about the oversight that exists from our Heavenly Father. Oversight that transcends man-made regulations, empowerments, and abilities. Okay, So we human beings are obviously not sovereign in our own uh, right to do whatever we want. Or presume that we're going to do whatever we want whenever we feel like it, okay? And it's going to happen no matter what because I've declared it to be. Well, folks, I hate to rain on your parade or burst your bubble, but it just doesn't work that way, all right? At least not in the eyes of our Heavenly Father. As usual, Holy Scripture serves as a great way to debunk uh, man-made myths, okay, and presumptions of grandeur. If you will turn, all right, specifically to the epistle of James, chapter 4, verses 13 through 17, it reads as follows. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go into this or that town and spend a year there and do business and make a profit. You do not know about tomorrow. What is your life like? For you are a puff of smoke that appears for a short time and then vanishes. You ought to say in Sedad, if the Lord is willing, then we will live and do this or that. But as it is, you boast about your arrogant plans. All such boasting is evil. So whoever knows what is good to do and does not do it is guilty of sin. Once again, that is James chapter 4 verses 13 through 17. And the message is quite clear that we human beings essentially are nothing but a puff of smoke in the eyes of our Heavenly Father, all right? We are here for as long as He declares us to be, okay? James says quite clearly that, you know, we must always, in whatever we think we're going to do or whatever we think we're going to say, we should always preface it, even if it's just in our mind, with if the Lord is willing. Because, guess what? If our Heavenly Father does not give his assent to our plan, what we think we're going to do, what we think we're going to say, guess what? It's not going to happen. I can say all day and all night that I'm going to buy a house next month. But if the Lord is not willing to allow that to happen. It's not going to happen. I don't care how bad I want it. All right. We can always, and I mean always, there's no harm in having goals and dreams and desires. As a matter of fact, you better have them so that your life can have some sort of structure. All right. Not just floating around aimlessly, uh, hoping to grab on to the nearest tree by the water side to keep yourself from drifting you better have some sort of structure but our goals and plans are always subject to God's review to our Heavenly Father's oversight 
okay? And no matter how bad we want things to happen, all right, he will not allow anything to happen that is not in his will for it to occur. Again, we are essentially nothing more than puffs of smoke, here today, gone tomorrow. And he has sovereign oversight over everything we think, say, and do. Okay? Only if he is willing, will anything happen. You know, every thought, word, and deed must be approved by him before it occurs. Essentially, though he does not deliberately cause everything to occur, what does occur has occurred by his approval. Sometimes those things may be very good. Sometimes those things may be very bad. But in any case, it always has a message and a purpose. Sometimes the purpose is not seen for years, decades even after it happens. But be assured that our Heavenly Father does nothing arbitrarily and it all has a reason. Okay? So, as we move from day to day and as we plan our lives and as we set out to embark upon great things, at least things that are great in our own selfish human minds, you know, because it's a human failure to think that we know everything and we can predict everything because we're humans and that's just how we are, sadly. The Heavenly Father has to remind us, okay, that in all things, okay, it is because he is willing for it to happen, if it happens. If, the heaven, if our Heavenly Father is not willing to allow something to occur, it's not going to happen, folks. If he is willing to allow something to occur, then virtually <laughs> nothing can stop it. Again, all of these points are reinforced by Scripture, okay? Uh, we must never forget that we are not entirely sovereign over our lives. Indeed, he gives us a great deal of latitude to think and strategize and plan under the premise of free will, okay? But it's almost like your parent letting you play in the backyard without them being there. Of course, you know, you have the freedom to run around the backyard. But of course, your parent is right there in the house watching you out, watching you inside through the window, making sure you don't get into, you know, mischief that can cause, you know, injuries or even death. OK, they're still watching. And that's basically how we are as humans. We're playing in the backyard. All right. But the father is watching. OK, from a distance, making sure we don't do something stupid. OK, which is why. OK, only he may approve our plans. Only he can grant a rubber stamp to what is to occur. All right. Again, if he does not approve an action, whether it's to go to law school, whether it's to buy a house, OK, whether it's to buy a new pair of shoes, buy a pack of cigarettes, doesn't make a difference. If the Lord is willing. All right then it will happen if the Lord is not willing. If our Heavenly Father is not approved, it ain't happening. Forget about it, all right? In this way, he keeps us in check very well, I will add, and always reminds us that ultimately, he is in control of each and every single step in our lives. You are not self-made. And anyone who believes that they are is foolishly deluding themselves. We are the children of our Heavenly Father. And like the children of an ever-loving parent, we are always under their oversight. No matter how old we get, no matter how smart we think we are, our Heavenly Father always will maintain His sovereignty over us and guide our steps accordingly. Only things that he approves of, of our great plans in this life, will they happen? Only things he approves of, nothing that he disapproves of, will he allow to come to pass. So that is my spiritual message to you all today. 
Okay? If you have any questions or comments or controversies, please feel free to leave them down below. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please take this time to do so. Your support uh, would be graciously appreciated. Take care, stay safe out there, and may the Father bless you each and every day of this life.